Enchanté. Yeah, I came to visit her and my son when they were in Brussels, mm -hmm. but we didn't get to France mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form. I'm having you doing the whole way. And Abby and your son lived in England at the beginning, right? Uh, no, kind of at the, at the beginning, beginning of our marriage, okay. yes. Yeah. All right, we are here at Chateau Puy Vidal, um, meeting up with um, Julia. Cut. And her mom. I need you to do that again. All right, my bell mare is now art directing me, so <laughs> I'm not allowed to say, you know my face was not on the camera, right? So I'm oh, it wasn't? filming it. No. How could it not be? Because I'm filming oh, that right, way. Right, I'm right. filming the table. Sorry. I thought you were doing it on yourself. Yeah. So, anyhow. Uh, as I was saying before, we are at Chateau Puy Vidal. And I'm here with my lovely Belmare. And uh, we have come to drop off the little drawing slash painting that I did at the Chateau. And also, obviously, to meet Julia and her mom. And uh, so yeah, we're just here and we're gonna have a little tea. We've met Troubadour. 
and Chloe and Troubadour have been having a, a grand time. Chloe has been putting Troubadour in his legs a little bit. He's a little rambunctious, but um, we've just had a tour <laughs> that honestly, it took about 45 minutes. So um, yeah, super awesome. What a place. It's just so much uh, bigger <laughs> in, in kind of real life than what you see on, a, on the videos. So anyhow, that's what's happening um, today. It's really fun. It's really, really beautiful here. Just giving you a, a uh, panoramic. I'm going slow with the camera since I don't have my little gimbal deal. And voila. Oh, there we go. Back to Belmere. So we've attempted to have lunch on a Monday in Agen. <laughs> we thought we'd have a nice little sit down. But then I for completely forgot that it was a Monday in Agen and there are no restaurants open. So... We're having sandwiches in the uh, little square here, and uh, hopefully we can do a couple of our errands. And that's kind of how Ajen goes. It's also All Saints Day. Oh, there goes my finger. Also All Saints Day, so even more things are closed than normal on a Monday. Anyway, here is the reality, the reality of uh, living in France. Things get closed a lot. <laughs> subtle and elegant or something, I don't know. But right now it looks kind of like a little bit vomity. <laughs> I don't know. So people, people are going to think that I spend $9,000 on a tin, of to, a tin of paint because I'm using Ferro and Ball samples, but the truth is I buy Ferro and Ball or buy Ferro and Ball samples and then have it mixed by the paint company in color, in paints that are nearly as expensive. I'm very, uh, I'm kind of a cheap, cheap paint person. So maybe Fair and Ball wants to give me their paints, then I would do it, but... All right, this one is definitely gonna match more the floor. But then, you know, do we want matchy-matchy? So that's the, that's the next question. Whereas tonight, you know, it's, it's gotten so dark so fast and so early now with the time change. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Not very good light in this room yet. Until we get that beautiful chandelier fixed up. Oh, I meant to buy wire for that chandelier. Selena's not responding to me. She's busy filming. Filming and not responding. Now I know how to, I was shut, only now know how to, how to shut you up and make you film. <laughs> how much do you pay for that little jar of paint? Uh, $7 for the little tiny jar of paint. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Um, the other thing is, Abigail, that your shadow is in the way. I know. So the, the paint is not really showing its true color, yeah. as it were. Well, I don't think it's really going to show its true color until tomorrow morning. Right. We come down and take a look, but but I definitely already like the green better than I like yeah, the yeah I do too the puce or whatever that is so the green wins and I decided against I was going to use the I was going to take um, the yellow so if you look over here see how there's a now you probably can't even tell it's in this light but. This is all kind of a yellow, and I was gonna try and replicate that yellow in the trim as well, and right. try that. Can you can you pull the plastic back a little bit? There. Okay. So this yellow, the, it's kind right. of like a, you know, it's like a really golden, ochery kind of yellow. But 
looking at it in the store in a bigger sample, I just didn't love it with a, with a white wall. And for now, until I know better, I feel like I'm gonna stick with the white, like I'm gonna carry the white wall from the hallway into here. And, um, you know, I think until, until we live with it a bit, it's, uh, yeah. It's often. Also, it makes it when it's dry, it's quite different too. Yeah, exactly. So, but I'm kind of liking the green. Yeah, so, me too. Yeah. So I really don't like the other one. I know. Yeah. So, well, we couldn't. This is the green that I was I had chosen, right? This is the Berg de Terre, yeah. Yeah. So what's it called? It's called Vert de Terre. Green Earth translated into English. Um so yeah. I'm sure it's the same brush for both of them. I thought I changed brushes. I guess I didn't. <laughs> Oops. And then I got with the rain. I I've got these two whites. I suppose I could try one of the whites on here as well. Why not? Maybe we want to go with a white trim for everything. So that looks like this is the slipper. What is this called? Slipper satin. It's going to be difficult to tell because of the the I know. wall. I know the wall is just primed, right? And it's kind of a bright white, so. but anyway, this is a color I bought to try to go as the exterior color for the windows and the doors. So hopefully, this will go with the shutter color. Um, but so tomorrow I'll try it on the windows and see how it looks next to the shutter color that we've, I think we're coming up. I think we're gonna use Fair Room and Ball Dix Blue. Dix is D-I-X. I think that's the one we're going with. Right. Um, so, let's see if this satin, what do I call it? Slipper satin goes with, goes with Dix Blue on the exterior. And what color are you thinking of for the wall? I think it's just going to be the same. It's just kind of like a, a sort of a, a white. It's got a bit of yellow in it, so it's pretty neutral. Right. So I could try this white in the other room and see if this goes with the, with the white there. Because those walls are painted in the white. Although I was just going to use the same color white in a different in a different emulsion, right? So, because then it hides all your mistakes. You know, you're going to learn all my my painting mistakes or my painting tips. Well, so are the people that yes. are looking at this. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> Which is a good thing. It's a good my, thing. My hidden audience. <laughs> my secret audience. Okay. Well, we'll see what we get tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking the green, like, because this, in this light, looks kind of like the, you know, it's kind of got the yellow sheen to the white, and I'm kind of liking how that looks. Could like. you stand back a bit? Your shadow is on the white, please. Here we go. Merci bien. Better? Yeah, better. Now, of course, the shadow of the, of yeah, the, uh, the thingy is yeah. all over the place, too, wow. but you we'll can. Get it. We'll get it. We'll do another, another shot yeah. tomorrow. Okie dokie, signing off, à bientôt. Okay, so this morning I'm taking another look at the colors and I kind of really like that green. I think it's going to do well with the, uh, I think it goes well with the, the color of the floor. So, yeah, I mean, the walls aren't going to be quite that color of white, 
because that's just the primer. But they'll actually be a little closer to the, the color of the white over here. But I do think if I did all white on white, it might be a little too stark. So, I'm kind of liking that green. So it would be all on, you know, on all the trim of the doors and the windows. Although, in the color scheme, <clears throat> they had the, this color, the, the green on here. I think that's partly what was making it quite dark, was because it was dark around the windows. And now that it's white, it's able to reflect a little better. So it definitely has brightened it up a little. <clears throat> but I think that I like the subtlety of that green. It's not quite so glaring as the green. Like that is the green that it was. Um, so it doesn't have quite as much yellow in it. Let's see if I can get them both in the same shot here. Yeah, it's it's uh it's just a little more subtle, maybe a little, a little more sophisticated. I don't know. And uh, I think it works. Oh, Chloe's come to help me, help me with my color, color scheming here. Anyway, just thought I would share that with you. Today I get to spend more time on this contraption, which I hate, because I hate being up there. And, uh, but I'm still doing all the cutting. You can see up here. Here, where I still have to do cutting, and here, where I've done it. <laughs> and even still, I'm gonna need to do probably two coats of actual paint on there. Again, this is just primer up there. So, it's got, I've got a lot more painting ahead of me. I think I'll just do the ceiling in a ceiling white, and then uh, the walls, I'm gonna carry on the wall color from the hallway which is kind of just a sort of an off, an off white, sort of warmish white. So you can kind of see it there. So that's where we're at. Oh, and yesterday um, we had <clears throat> the little tables that I bought at that brocant for 50 euros each. Um, well, this one here is the, I think this one was the $15 one. And that's a chandelier that I got from um, a friend of Tomas. And here is one of the $50, oh no, yeah. Was this the, no, this is the $10 one, <laughs> or 10 euro, I shouldn't say that much. 10 euro. And then here's one of the 50 euro bedside tables. And then this is that little, I don't know, it's like a, maybe you put it beside a couch or something. Something like this, a little drink or a lamp, and then this is the little dresser that uh, could go in one of the bedrooms, and then this is that cool sort of hideaway, hideaway secretaire. Oh, it's kind of cool when you do it, and it's got, it's also kind of a little dresser, so that's super cute. And then this little table, which is, again, just a little occasional table, but I'll probably use it as a bedside table. So, that's, uh, now I just have to decide where they're all going to go. And, um, I think I got, I, I've had to work out pr practically on a spreadsheet all of the bedding and what pieces I need for each room. So, I think I've got that sorted out now. But, um, Yeah. Maybe in one of my future videos, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll explain my, <laughs> my bedroom organization scheme. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Off I go painting. All right, I've got my 83-year-old mother of Belmare on her hands and knees, steaming furniture. <laughs> Say hello, Selena. <laughs> Hello! Sorry, too busy to talk right now. So, working with the grain this time.
open up with the steamer on the beds because it was doing the same same thing. It's really hard to make the steamer go with the nap on the beds. So now we're trying on the floor. It's going to be one of those two. <laughs> just doing behind the door just to see that, uh, what it does to the floors. But of course, just make them all wet, so it's going to be hard to tell them until they're dry, I think. I'm going to go a little bit on here, Abigail. Just killed a bug. <laughs> I think we're out of the water. Maybe. Yeah, well, that's good. This has been a good test and a good way to empty the machine. Yeah. Time. I hope you're getting a really good shot at my uh, my bum. I, I have not. I, I don't want to terrorize my, my okay. audience. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you think is right. But the hat, my friend, is a must. Okay, voila. <laughs> We've got uh, a super granny who's blinged out with a Key West, uh, <laughs> Key West oh, hat. Oh, and the t-shirt. Oh, yes. Un momento. Oh, por, por favor. Yeah, please strip press. I was not meant to work. Oh, sorry, I was meant to work? You have to lift it up a little higher. Oh, I was never meant to work. There we go. En français, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> I, I don't know meant. <laughs> je ne travaille pas. Eh bien. Holy cow, it's really trimmed back hard. Wow. C'est bien? Oui, c'est très bien. I've got even more of a view, I think. Well, at least through here I do. It's trimmed out a lot of the weed trees. And uh, left the fig there. The fig is the one with the uh, the yellow leaves right here. And then the palm is there. Maybe tomorrow I'll walk down there and we'll take a look. We'll take a look together, people. We'll take a look together. My friend Isabel arrived with her students who are four young men from Afghanistan. They are refugees who stay in, in a building kind of close by where she lives. And they are just the sweetest young men ever. Okay, we have a lot happening. 
happening. We've got Tama working over there on the pipe. And as you can hear, we've got a chainsaw going and he's done massive amounts of cleaning here. Clearing. So, you can see him down there, but he's clearing the, you know, around the, there's actually steps that go down there. So, <laughs> but I came running out this morning because he, uh, he was cutting this, this tree right down. It was, it's a fig tree. And I was like, no, stop. Don't cut the whole tree. Fig tree down. So you can see the figs have often been, uh, have been topped because they're really thick trunk right here. But, um, you know, obviously they, they block the view. So I guess over the years they've been, they've been cut down to size. So I think that's what I'll probably wind up doing as well. Um, I'm not too worried about the fig, it will come back. They, uh, they grow like weeds around here, so um, yeah. And then uh, Tomas is working hard over there, burying a pipe uh, to drain our, dra drain the water. So maybe I'll go and see what he's up to. <laughs> okay, here's a closer look at the, uh, the fig tree. <laughs> The massacred fig tree. Anyway, I might have managed to run out here just in time. Because he would have chopped that one right down to the ground. Anyway, this is my path now. It's pretty clear. <laughs> it's a little clearer than I had anticipated, but um, I think it's all good. Just, um, you know, it'll all grow back, but it's good to kind of see what's here and what we've got. He's clearing right down to the fence. I don't know if you can kind of see. The fence is green, so it's really hard to see. But there's kind of a chain link fence that goes all the way along there. But he's actually just clearing along the fence right now. So uh, we know that underneath this sort of grassy area, there are some raised beds. So they were obviously growing vegetables here at one time. So this will be good to just see what we've got going on over here. And uh, yeah, it's looking much more, <laughs> much better now. And uh, there's a lot of brush to get rid of. I don't know that's going to happen exactly. Yikes. We've got a big old palm tree here. It'd be so nice to get all the dead stuff off that palm tree. Hmm. All right, well, that's... That's today's update. A little cloudy today. It's starting to be a bit cooler here. Not quite so summery. So, um, I think fall is... It's finally decided it's fall. In Ajen. Okay, a bientôt. Alright, I don't know why it's mesmerizing. I've watched people cut things in, but I can't stop watching. Plus I'm once again procrastinating. Finish that painting during this trip of exploring. Well, this is ceiling. I'm going to finish painting the ceiling. But I have a very sore neck right now from having to look up. crazy so I'm gonna go down there and see but I have much more of a view now and um, <laughs> I have a direct view now of my field it's a little bit shocking and I can't quite decide if uh, I'm happy with this or not I'm a little freaked out um, 
But there you go. Here is, I mean, honestly, I guess these fig trees aren't gonna have a lot more space to grow. It's completely clear down here. on a prickle. He is a busy, busy man. But I've got, uh, my property is very exposed now. <laughs> but I do think it will be better for allowing the trees to grow and um, better to see everything. I imagine it's all going to spring up pretty darn quick once uh, the growing season starts up again. And I'm um, getting lots of firewood, it looks like, out of the whole deal. So, wow, wow, that's the update. Oh, and we'll look at what Thomas did. Yeah, uh, well, it's all covered up now, but he has buried in sand the pipe and he has uh, created a cement kind of enclosure for the pipe so that we can clear it out if, ever needs, if it ever needs. You can see the pipe sticking out at the end there. So I think on Saturday, they'll come back with the excavator and fill in all the hole. And, uh, and I have piles, I believe, of uh, drying wood here. that was all cut down there, and I think it's gonna get added to. Um, I've got these two places underneath the steps. And that happens. So we've still got water here, but I think on Saturday when Tomas comes back, he'll um, let it all out again, and uh, hopefully it'll all just start flowing. And, uh, we'll have a dry, we'll have a dry basement once again, which will be very nice. So <laughs> that's that's the update for today. It's been a busy day. I've gotten halfway through painting the ceiling with a basically the first coat of actual paint so maybe I'll show that show you that tomorrow I'm planning at some point before I leave on Sunday of doing a full tour again so you can see where everything stands and I can remember where everything stands after I get home okay uh, bien I think it's like uh, five, ten centimeters cement. Okay, well, that's uh, I guess good news. Are there tiles underneath it? Can you bring some light? Um. <laughs> <laughs> First fire. You guys want to be on YouTube? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we have been visited today by four refugees from Afghanistan, and they've been accompanied by my friend Isabel, who teaches them French. And so we have just finished uh, two different two days of French lessons yes. with Isabel. Say hi, Isabel. Hi. <laughs> So we're missing one, we'll go find him because he is, he's cooking dinner for, he's cooking some things because I made a, a stew, but the, um, the boys can't eat the stew, so they're gonna make some eggs, so we're making some eggs. I'm filming you for YouTube. Oh. YouTube. Oh, YouTube? Say hi. Why is it Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Voila. And hello, Selena. Hello. So, yeah, 
We have a, a whole feast question. happening. I have a question. Okay, can we ask it after? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, maybe one day. Here's our big, our big dinner. Thank you so much, Amy. Oh, yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> Okay, and, um, I'm in my second last day before I have to leave and uh, decided to make a stop at the Emu's store, which is kind of like a, a Goodwill, they're a cross brand. So I'm still looking kind of for bedside tables. There is this one, 12, I'm guessing that's the price, 12 euros. I'm starting to be a little more picky. Um, but they have just tons of stuff. Tons and tons of stuff. So, big huge armoires. And I'm guessing it's looking like this one says 25 euros, but maybe I'm reading it upside down. I don't know. Maybe it's 125. I'm not even sure about this one because it's 50% 50, 50 off. <laughs> but it is sold. So, anyway, just to give you an idea um, these big old armoires, nobody wants them anymore because everybody's, you know, got IKEA furniture, I guess. And uh, a lot of these things are just too big for. A lot of people's homes anymore you know, because the homes are being divided and being divided into smaller and smaller places to fit more and more people. So, um, a lot of the antique furniture is just too big for most people. It's kind of cool. It's always not a door replacement. And, uh, crib or a, was that a playpen? I'm guessing uh, <laughs> those would probably be outlawed in the United States. Not not up to standards. Would it be sued? <laughs> um, the same with the cribs. So yeah, looks like the set of chairs is well. Maybe that's just the number that they used to identify the play piece. I'm not sure if 47 is the price or the number. Oh, this, this piece is really pretty. It looks like it's, gosh, this writing is very hard. It says, oh, well, maybe the price, maybe those aren't prices. Maybe it's just what they used to identify. I don't know. Anyhow, it's very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, this one definitely looks like it's 95 euros, given the, the chalk there. That's what I would that's what I would assume it was. Plus it's 50% off, so 45 euros. And you get a big huge thing. It's kinda crazy. Kinda crazy. Kinda like this painted one. It's looking pretty rough, but can you imagine if it was stripped? Oh, okay, well, I'm prepared. <laughs> oh, that would be so cute. Uh, but I'm not in need of a new project, so I'll leave that one by the wayside. And then there's a whole lot of, you know, this kind of furniture. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think that was the only bedside table, but I'll go to the other side. You can see how big this room is of just armoires and furniture and whatnot. And then there's a whole other side, so we'll go and film that too. Okay, here we are on the other side now. Again, lots of huge armoires. Mm. 
one's pretty. It looks like the one I saw in the brocante. This mirror is kind of messed up. Looks like it's sold. I like how it has the little lights as part of it. It's cool. But this, uh, there's like, I guess the silver on the back side of the mirror is messed up. Anyway, kind of cool. This one seems to say 700 euros, which seems a little out of place. So I don't know if I'm not reading the reading the prices right, but there we go. So again, a whole another room full of furniture. But there's a little bedside table there, but yeah, I just don't love it. white uncomfortable chairs with their little <laughs> springs poking through. <laughs> More bedside tables. They definitely seem to be of an era. But not an era that I'm looking for. And then apparently we have a toy section. I'm not in need of any toys at the moment. So, voila. I think we've done it. We've done it. All right. Final shopping trip of this, of this round. A bientôt. Okay, so this is uh, this is my last video for this particular trip. Um, I leave on Sunday to head back to the U.S., which is really sad for me. I don't want that to happen. But um, my uh, my 90 days of being in France on my tourist visa is up, so I have to return. And um, when I get back, I'm going to be finishing my uh, visa application. I'm not sure how long that's all going to take once I've finished all the, all the paperwork. So, um, but uh, I believe I'm going to have to travel from Seattle to San Francisco where there's a French consulate in order to, oh my gosh, hang on, I gotta let Chloe out, of course. Okay, come on. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, I would love to come back for Christmas. I'm still working that out with my kids. Um, it's just hard getting all of our schedules in line. So I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. Um, otherwise, I think it's probably gonna be March will be when I, I'm gonna be trying to come back. Um, I'm gonna be coming back then, particularly because they're gonna start doing the um, repairing and painting the shutters. And I really wanna be here for that. And um, yeah, it's gonna be time for another work session. And maybe if I'm lucky by then, I will have a visa and I won't have to leave. <laughs> I won't have to keep leaving so often. So um, that's where I'm at. And uh, I feel like in this trip, I got quite a bit done. We, uh, we solved the, the water issue and we have uh, done some massive clearing and a lot of painting although I feel like there's not a lot of reward yet for the painting. Um, so hopefully when I get back, the, the painting will be much more satisfying <laughs> than painting a ceiling white. That's where I'm at. So thanks for being part of the journey. I'm, uh, I've recorded a bunch of things uh, to, to uh, upload when I'm back in the US. So that includes a tour of the cottage, the caretaker's cottage, and a tour of the grounds. And um, yeah, I'll probably do a few. I've, ha I've had people asking me how I traveled with Chloe and about the visa process. So I'll probably use a few of those opportunities to answer questions like that. Okay, the sun is really strong. All right, see you soon. A bientôt. <laughs>